Yes, sir, baby, on the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building, the first female artist from the UK to stop by the show. Ling Hustle is here me, with me. What up? Hey. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, the freestyle is out right now. Yes. Um, and I got to say, I love how you came here, and it was rightfully so that you got a violation beat. From my brother, from my brother Dizzy Banco. Shout out Dizzy. Because like when we were talking about setting up the freestyle, I was like, and you were like, oh yeah, I gotta get a beat from Dizzy. I was like, wait a second, Dizzy Banco, and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I don't know. Well, I, I want to know how y'all two met, but I thought that that was so cool because honestly, Diz, Diz, correct me if I'm wrong because he's probably he's gonna watch this. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think that anybody's done a Dizzy Banco beat on the freestyle yet. Oh, yeah. As far as I can remember, I think you might be the first. So, I th so that's another reason why I thought that it was really kind of cool. Sick. I actually, like, I think we just started following each other on Instagram, but I actually first found out about Diz by listening to Neat Box. Oh, because okay. Because he, like, I, I was hearing his tag all over Neat Box's stuff because I really fuck with Neat Box. And I was like, who is this guy? And then when I finally, like, came across his Instagram, I was like, oh, it's his tag. And then we started following each other. Then, yeah, he started sending me beats and we've been cool. This is cool though. Nah, you killed that. So okay, so Thank that you. so you asked so you found him through Neek. That's crazy. Yeah. How did you get tapped in with Neek Bucks? I, I I just listened to his music. I'm just a fan of his music. That's dope. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. dope. For sure. You have you ever connected with Neek? Nah. I got you. Yeah. It's done. Cool. I got you. That's that's, that's Appreciate e it. That, that's easy. I'll send I'll send Neek your IG after this. Cool. But I'm so excited to have you here today. Thank you. Um and uh, have you done any interviews in the States before or no? Um no, no. No. Okay, I first one here. First one. So it's only rightfully so that we got to get like your background. So how did this whole musical journey begin for you? Okay, I started doing music when I was in like college, I think. I okay. started, I actually started dropping songs on like SoundCloud. So I was like going ham on SoundCloud. And then um, I took all my songs off SoundCloud because I was like... Why? I because I was like, I, this, this, it was just a mess. <laughs> I was like, I need to find out what my sound is. So I literally just spent like a year like writing... And um, trying to build my sound and stuff. And then I dropped my first tape in 2018. And I've been dropping tapes ever since. Right. You've been consistent with it too. Yeah. So when you found... So what did those older songs sound like? I want to know They weren't now. terrible though. They were like... Okay, at least they weren't terrible. Yeah, they were still good. But I just... I don't know. I didn't have no direction. So I just need to find my sound. Were you like singing back then? Yeah, rapping? singing, rapping. Oh, a both? bit of both. A bit of both still. Yeah. So you've always done you've always done both. Even back in like the early, like your yeah. first couple records, you were always yeah. kind of bouncing between the two. I'm gonna play them, I'm gonna play them for you one day. You can hear them. I wanna they're, hear they're actually I feel good, like you know what good, I feel though. you should have made them private. You shouldn't have deleted them. You should have made them private it's true. on SoundCloud. Uh, it's true. It's that, true. That way you could still like go back and play it for people who wanna know, like myself. They were low-key fire. Were, so when you were always kind of like going back between the rapping and like the singing part mm -hmm. um, and kind of just like being a jack of all trades in that sense, was that always like, which came first? Rapping. The rapping came first. I wanted to be a rapper like fully. I didn't even want to sing. You didn't even want to sing? No. But you do you, do, you, do you at least enjoy it now? Like, of do, course. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. Nah, because some people might might like you know say that they want to do one thing and they, then they do the other. And since you do both, I'm like, I wonder if she like actually enjoys doing the singing stuff, or she's kind of like, all right, I, I like want to get out of the bag. I like doing both together the most, okay. like the sing and the rapping together. I enjoy that the most. Because I, I don't think that anybody has come on our freestyles and just straight up sang sang, right, Rob? No. no. Yeah. We've had like acapella freestyles where they've like kind of sang, mm -hmm. but I don't think we had anybody that sang sang on the freestyle. Oh, Mooski. You ever heard of Mooski Trackstar? Yeah, yeah. He yeah, kind of yeah. sang, kind of sort of, but not the way that you did it. Okay. Something, something different. But like, I like how you can do both because like it, it, it gives like a little more diversity to like the music you put out too. Right. So I think that the, I thought that's what I really like about you. Going into like you know when when you started putting out all these tapes and all these projects, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Obviously, you've been extremely consistent. Do you mm -hmm. find it hard to be like that consistent? Like, do you find like it's a big task, or is it, or is it just kind of like it just is that easy for you? I wouldn't say it's that easy, but I don't find it hard. Like, I really do like writing. I love writing, and I love making music, and mm. I love putting together tapes. So, yeah, I enjoy it. Did you ever write for other people? Have you ever done that? Yeah, kind of more than before. Like, now I now I write for a few of my friends and stuff that are getting into music. Or, so, like, mostly people around you, not, like, you know, on some, like, writing for, like, label artists, like, industry stuff. It's mostly um, for, like... Getting there. Getting there. Oh, see, I, I, I see that smile she has? Some... <laughs> See that smile you got back there? <laughs> I see that. I don't got my glasses on, but I can see it. <laughs> so you have been kind of like slowly getting into like that type of space mm -hmm. too. I feel like that's where like the money really is though, mm -hmm. sometimes. Wouldn't you agree? 
Yeah. She don't want to talk about it. Look, she she <laughs> she, she like she like dodged in the crowd. She's like, yeah, the money, the mm-hmm. money, the money's good there. Yeah. So so you've been starting to experiment with that. Have you been enjoying it, or are you kind of like I don't know? Because some people have like different feelings towards writing for other people versus just like kind of focusing on just being the artist themselves. No, I enjoy it. I don't mind because I can write for myself all day. So writing for other people is nothing. What is your studio process like? It's just me and my engineer. I don't, I hate having people in the studio with me. Okay. I'm one of them people. Like, I like it to be just me and my engineer. Mm. And, um, yeah, melodies first. I always go with melodies first, and then I, I get the bars after. And the bars come after. Yeah. Is this, uh, this isn't your first time in New York. You've been here before. Yeah. How, when, how many times have you been in New York before? Um, maybe about five. Oh, five times? Mm. So when you come out here, what is like, wh- what do you have to do when you come out here? What are some things that you're like, all right, as soon as, as, soon as I touch down, Ling Hustle, I'm in the city, what am I doing? Like, what's the first thing I gotta, I gotta go? I gotta it's crazy because I just link up with my friends out here. Like, okay. I got a lot of friends that live out here. So anytime I come here, I just want to see my friends. Literally. Did you just meet like, like, cause I know obviously shout out my guy O-Wave, O-Wave when he was here, he shouted you out in his interview. It's so crazy. I haven't even linked up with him yet. Really? But we've been, we've been following each other for years. Yeah, that man is in like. A, I'm gonna see him before I leave though, because that's crazy for real. Yeah, and he and like I said, he was shouting you out, and he's like super deep in his like UK music bag. Yeah. Like he might be more. He he's more tapped in than any person that I, I think I know at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he knows his stuff. And he did a song with Giggs as well, which is fire. Yeah, he had a song with Giggs. What else? He, he, he has some other records that he said that he was... He wants to put together a, a tape that's called like Brooklyn, but he wants to put like the UK in there somewhere. It's gonna, he wants it to be all yeah, UK Yeah, he hit me about future. that. So oh, he, yeah, we'll, he hit you about that too? Yeah, we're going to get on a song together. Of course he hit you about that. Come yeah. on, at this point, like why why wouldn't he? Of course. I love the similarities between New York and, 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 and London. I've never personally been to London before and I've never made my way out to the UK. I was actually planning to in 2020 before the pandemic mm. it was like on my summer list of uh we, i was actually actively planning it but like i think it's so funny when when i have artists come over here like um like digger i guess is a good example of that and he'll come through he'll be like yeah you know i walk around i see nike techs and and and, and air forces and masks and I, i'm like oh shit i'm yeah, home they just look like us for real do you feel yeah, that way yeah. when you walk around here i say too? that all the time like new york is very similar to london mm. yeah is there so when you come here? Obviously, you know you got to go check in with your friends. What else do you have to do when you're out here? Link up, go studio, try make some moves, try make some songs, mm-hmm. see what other artists I can link up with. I love a lot of the artists out here. So, who have you been listening to? Obviously, Neek Bucks, but who else have you been listening to? I really like Stunner Gambino. Stunner Gambino, okay. I really, really like him. He's hard. Um, Capella's my favorite. Have you gotten to meet Capella? Not yet. Okay, because I know he's and, in the UK a, a little while ago. And that's another one that I've, we've been on each other for a minute as well, but I ain't linked up with him yet. Hopefully I get to see him before I leave as well. Um, yeah, Capella's my favorite though. Capella's your favorite. Yeah, out of everyone. Confusion, I'm going crazy. Go stream that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always I'm always just shamelessly plugging my, my guy's it. music. Love it. <laughs> so Pella, Stunner, who else? Um, Lola Brooke. Okay, okay. She's big fire. Lola, yeah, big Gator. Yeah. Um, who else? Are you heavily tapped in with like obviously the UK and the and well the Brooklyn drill scene are very much very similar. Are you kind of tapped in in that regard too? Not really, you know. Really? Nah. Like, let me hear something. I want to tell me some names. Some Brook like from Brooklyn or from like Bronx? Like do- doesn't matter. Yeah, from anywhere. Well, you know, Be Love. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Of you, course. You, of course, you know, Be Love because yeah, yeah, of, yeah. of Jelly. Um, who who have we had on this show? We've had a lot of people on the show. Eli Frost, Sleepy Hollow. Oh, I love um, Sleepy Hollow. You like Sleepy yeah, Hollow? Okay, for sure. Huh? Oh, on point like OP. Uh, who else have we had on the show? Other other drill rapper wise, uh, there've been so many. I'm, that's See, why I I'm, wanna, I'm gonna listen. I want to hear it. Yeah, I mean, come on, I got I got you. Cause like you know what, it's cool. Cause when 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 the UK stuff started getting like the UK drill beat started getting really popular over here, I thought it was so funny because I was like, yo, I've been listening to like gigs and and, and Skepta for like mad long, and mm. I know like not all the beats that they use are exactly like the same thing as like what we have over here now. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, the influence is there, and I thought it was just so funny how like how Chicago's drill beat influence and then the UK's drill beat influence just kind of like came here, and right. like now now there's like this huge inf- yeah, like, like y'all take dance moves from us, we take beats from y'all, like it's just you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Down. It's kind of it's kind of it's kind of perfect. Yeah, it's kind of nah, perfect. I it. It's fire. And I peeped um I peeped that uh um I saw H files you, so I wanted to ask you what how did how did that link up happen? Like how do y'all know each other? 
I swear you're gonna think I'm crazy. Me and H ain't even linked up either. <laughs> we ain't linked up yet either. But H is cool. The 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 scene in London's quite small, so it's hard mm. for artists to not know each other. Everybody knows each other. Right. So yeah. So H- like you know like H and like and like T and like Yeah. Y'all may have never even yeah. met, but y'all know each other yeah, on that we know type each of other level. And yeah. Everyone's cool. What are some things like okay, so when I go to London for the first time, what are some things I gotta go do? Like first thing on the touchdown. Like, you know, when you touch down here, it's like, oh, you got to go to the corner store, get this type of food, or you got to go do this. What do I got to do when I touch down? Hmm. What would you have to do when you touch down? You definitely got to get some good food. You got to go True Flavors. Everyone would back me on that. True Flavors. What's True Flavors? It's a Jamaican spot. In, it's a Jamaican spot. In okay. South. In South. So you definitely got to go there. In South London. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? I don't know. Do you like going clubbing and stuff? Of course. Is it? You're one of those. See, I'm not. So, but well, I mean, I'm not like I wouldn't say like I'm like the biggest club person, but like when I'm over, when I go to places that are like in New York, I'm kind of good. Mm. If that if that makes sense, like mm-hmm. you know, you you grow up somewhere, you live somewhere, like your whole yeah, life is yeah. like I've kind of been everywhere. I That's do how everything. I feel about London, though. <laughs> yeah, it's like okay, like if I'm getting paid to come out to do a club hosting or something, I'll I'll go. Right. But like other than that, I'm not like I'm not I'm not yeah, you're from here, so you're not you're not pressed. Right. I'm not getting I'm not getting off work on like a Friday and I'm like, all right, what club am I going to tonight? Like if I end up somewhere, that's cool. But right. like if I could walk into a spot and I didn't really want to be there and they're like you gotta pay twenty something dollars for a drink, I'm gonna look at you crazy. I'm gonna walk out. Yeah, facts. <laughs> so I but I always like you know it's it's I see like um when I was like in college I watched um, quite a bit of, like, British television. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would see, like... Uh, I, obviously, I never take, like, what I see on TV and be let like, that's real. It. Let me hit it. Right? No, no. I'm, I'm, it's not, no, I, I swear to God. I'm not, I don't believe things I see on TV. Because it would be like, when you watch shows about New York and you're just like, that's not how that is. Right. Right? But there was, like, a time where I'm like, damn, I really just want to go to the UK to party. Mm. <laughs> it yeah. just looks like... It just looked fun on TV. And I was like, uh, well... But, like, that goes back to the conversation. Like, it's like, well, we grew up... Maybe it's an art... I don't know. Like, artists... I don't know. All the artists I know out there, they don't really go clubbing and stuff. Really? Y'all don't yeah. go? Uh, Artists-wise, y'all don't really yeah, go out like, like that? Nah, not really. And not unless someone's like doing a hosting or something or being like paid to be there. No one's really outside like that for real. Everyone's, so, everyone's in a cut working. I kind of like that. Well, no, here, everybody, everybody be outside over here. Yeah, but and, I get that though because it's nice to be outside over here. It's, it's not nice to be outside over there? I mean... Y'all don't got like some warm months like we do? We yeah, have like four course, warm months. Yeah, it gets hot. Uh, it gets hot. It gets hot. But still, yeah, when it's hot, it's nice, I guess. That's the best time. You don't ever want to go to London when it's cold. Well, I mean, that's like when um, when I had... When Digger was here and uh, came through in February or March. March, Rob? Late February. Late February. Yeah, well, it was like the day he came, it was gray. It was mm. raining a little bit. But he's he, used to that. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. he's like he walks in, he's like, Yeah, it feels like I'm home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, All right, well, you know <laughs> He's like, if you wanna know what London's like, he's like and he'll he'll like open the door and like just like this. Yeah, that's facts. <laughs> but I've always wanted to go. Okay, so I gotta go club I might have to go club independent on what it is. I gotta go yeah. to, I gotta hit the Jamaican spot. Yeah. What else do facts. I gotta hit? Um I don't know, man. London's quite for me it's boring. I just got to come out there and we'll figure yeah, we'll, 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 come, we'll, yeah. we'll figure it out. You know a lot of people. You be outside. You have fun. I know. I do know a lot of people. Is, it good. is it good as or bad as, that I know that many people no, out there now? No, as long as you know the right people, you actually enjoy it more. <laughs> okay, cool. For sure. So for you right now, we in, a, we in, a, we in work mode. We in mixtape mode. We got yeah. things working on. What's kind of, what do you got kind of cooking right now? I'm just working on my mixtape right now. Okay. Getting all my features together. Getting all my collabs together. Mm-hmm. Making sure my mixtape's popping. And I want to drop it like in the summer. I feel like this is gonna be a big tape for you. Mm-hmm. Me too. And you know what I'm saying? She out in New York for a reason. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> well, She's yeah. out in New York for a reason. But this <laughs> tape. So how is this tape for you right now? Like what you're working on? How is this different from? I guess everything you put out before. Like in 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 your words. Um, firstly, I feel like th- there's gonna be way more features than I've ever done on a project. Like I don't really do, do features any. Yeah. Yeah, on my project, so this one I definitely want to make sure I have a lot of features in there, have a lot of collabs, mm. and I just want to make sure that it's my best, my best project yet. Can you give us one feature on it? No. Damn. Can you tell me can I, when the camera cuts off? Yeah, can you tell I can me? tell you. So it's going to be a lot of features, mm-hmm. singing, some rapping, mm-hmm. um, and no name for it yet. Still TBD. Yeah, but it's gonna be big. Yeah, do you feel like this is this this project is gonna be the project that will take you to like that next level too? Yeah, for sure. Oh man, that's exciting! Damn, I damn, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna know everything. You know stuff. 
He knows everything. He knows everything. He knows everything. <laughs> what? Okay, so the tape's coming this summer. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else do we have kind of cooking? What else do we have kind of in store? Hopefully, I'll be back out here in the summer as well. Okay. So, yeah, I want to work I want to work with a lot of the artists out here. So, I'm planning to do that too. That's fire. I'm, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best to, to help... Uh, Link you up with, with with Neek. Yeah. Um, I would definitely love to see that. Um, mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm at this point, right? The freestyle's out, so make sure y'all go run up the freestyle. For sure. Super dope, singing and rapping, something that I don't think we've done on the freestyles before. So you got to go tap into that. Um, before we sign off, is there anything else you want to let the people know? Uh, make sure when I drop my tape, you guys stream the hell out of it and show me love. Appreciate it. If you're watching this while the tape's out, because you just happen to search her name on YouTube with like interview next to it on the radar next to it. And go listen to my other stuff as well. All yeah. the old stuff, yeah. Yeah, make sure you go tap in, go stream that shit. It's it's literally like right here. Exactly. It's literally right here in the recommended section. So make sure you go stream the tape, go stream the freestyle, go show her some love, follow her, support is free, love is free. Um, and let the people know where they can follow you at too. Um, Ling Hustle on everywhere. Ling Hustle. Mm-hmm. Everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Yeah. That. Make sure you go follow her. Go run up the tape. Go run yeah. up the freestyle. And until next time, Ling Hustle on the radar. UK in the building. Appreciate you. Thank you. Dope.